Stealth games tend to walk a finer line than every other genre. On the one hand, you don't want the game to be too easy. On the other hand, you don't want players failing often enough to frustrate them. Unfortunately, Serial Cleaner doesn't get that balance quite right. While it's performed really well on Steam, it's a fiddly game on mobile, hampered by the screen size limitations at most turns. Serial Cleaner sees you playing the titular scrubber. It's your job to clean up murder scenes so the police can't charge your bosses. There are bodies that you need to collect, dump in your car, and then escape with. As well as corpses, you've got chunks of evidence to collect, most of which you're going to keep in your own little trophy cabinet at home, where your mum lives. There's a narrative that pushes you from crime scene to crime scene, but we don't want to spoil too much of it here. Bad stuff happens, as you can imagine. The levels start off simply. You've got one body to grab and a couple of police officers to sneak past. By the end of the game, there are hundreds of potential ways to finish a challenge. You'll hide, you'll make noises to draw off guards, and you'll move scenery around to clear an escape route. Coupled with the stylish 70s aesthetic, you'd think Serial Cleaner was onto a winner. But there are problems here that constantly kick you out of the experience. For one thing, the levels change when you fail them. The layout might be the same, but the bodies and evidence are in different places. While this does increase replayability, it means you don't really get a chance to learn from your mistakes. A guard's movement pattern might have messed up your last run, but they're not going to go anywhere near the corpse this time, so where's the reward? It often feels like everyone else in the game is stronger, faster, and smarter than you as well. Cops come sprinting as soon as they spot you, and there's a pretty good chance they're just going to nab you, especially if you're carrying a body which you probably will be, because that's basically the point of the game. Now, we're more than up for a challenge, and we certainly don't mind things being a bit difficult in our games. But the controls need to be up to the challenge as well, and they just feel a little bit imprecise on mobile. It is better on iPad with the bigger screen, but the level of precision required still doesn't feel comfortable on the game's floating joystick. Serial Cleaner tries to be tight and focused and wide and experimental at the same time, and those two threads bash into each other in some annoying ways. You rarely feel like a skillful operative cleaning up someone else's mess. You feel like a bystander that stumbled into the wrong room and is desperately trying to do something to get out. That's a real shame since there is so much here to make you fall in love with the game. Perhaps playing on a system with locked down physical controls makes all the difference. But on mobile, especially on smaller devices, it's a bit cold, a little bit clumsy, and a bit confusing. <laughs>